or say capable show table. Many episodes. Hey guys, welcome back. It is my eighth mini episode in my series of February mini episodes. And if you're new here, uh, please do subscribe because I think it'll be pretty interesting to watch this boat get finished and make it to the water this year, I'm counting on. So what I'm gonna be doing in this one is remove the peel ply from the work I did yesterday, attaching this final combing deck panel and then clean up around the edges of this hatch and a little sanding on the edges where it's necessary. And I was realizing yesterday, this deck panel is the second to last one I have to put on. There's only one more, this big one here, which I've already made. It's uh, located on the deck on the other side there. So that's the last deck panel that needs to go on. Pretty exciting. And the other thing I want to try and get done is drill the holes for the uh, G10 bases or the latches that are going to go here and hold down this hatch cover. It's really tough to drill through the G10 material. I think what I really need is a diamond drill bit and a drill press, but I'm a little limited on the tools I have. But okay, let's see what we can get done. And here's a quick look at the base for the bullseye fair lead I put in yesterday. That's for the main sheet that'll continue into the cabin through that little hole there. So I just gave it a little light sanding. And I also very carefully sanded around the fiberglass of this opening through the bulkhead with finer and finer sandpaper to make sure there's nothing that would snag on the main sheet. That tube is very similar diameter to the line that's going to be going through it, just slightly larger. So my hope is that it keeps out most water, but I know some water could still get into the cabin through here. If anyone has any great ideas about how to improve this, I'd be open to any ideas. You can leave it in the comments or my email is in the description. Either a better way to keep water from coming in or something inside the cabin that it can help deal with any drips. All right, after a little sanding, it is looking very nice now. And very strong. I'd have no issues with standing right here. The extra fiberglass, I think, helped a lot. All right, I've got the holes in these to a 10 millimeter diameter using the drill bits I have. I need to get them about to 13 to fit the stainless inserts. So I think from now I'll switch to my carbide burr set. Okay, I used my carbide burr bit on this hole only for a couple minutes. And that's all I've done. I'm not even finished yet. So I think I'm going to go out and get a proper half inch masonry drill bit and see if that's faster for all the others. All right, and I'm back and check this out. Half inch hammer bit. Good for concrete, masonry, and stone. That should do the trick. Okay, it's amazing how easy projects become when you have the right tools. So I got all the big holes drilled, and then I outlined the G10 for the latches and drilled those holes 
Now I just got to cut everything out. All right, and there's the latches and their bases roughly cut out. Before I can clean them up with a sander, I need to do a repair to it, but that'll be in the next video. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor, hit that like button, leave a friendly comment, and I will see you guys in the next one.